I'm Barb Pritchard Forrest, class of EHS 1969. After high school, I went off to college at Valparaiso University in Indiana, but my parents moved away to Houston. My dad got transferred um, very shortly after I started, and so I went to, I transferred to University of Texas at Austin. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do when I grew up. So I graduated without any marketable skills. I became a social worker and um, I lived in Houston and Galveston and did that for a couple years. And then I went off to graduate school in audiology. So I don't know why, because I don't like science, but I wanted to be practical, so I uh, got a degree as an audiologist. And by that time, I decided Texas was way too hot, so I graduated and I got a job in the coldest place on the planet, which is Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. So I moved up to Regina and um, became an audiologist. I worked for the government. I met my husband in Regina, which was a good thing, uh, but it was the coldest place on the planet. In fact, the day we got married, it was 40 degrees below zero. So um, we moved to Calgary, which is where he was from, um, which is a much nicer place, but it's still freezing cold. And I worked for a hospital there and the school board, so I bounced around audiologist jobs there. Um, but I really didn't like it at all. I always been interested in art. I took classes now and then. Then I finally said to my husband, you know, it's still way too cold in Canada, let's move. And he got a job in Portland, Oregon and we moved down there. Portland is a very nice place. I got another job as an audiologist. In fact, it was with a very high-tech uh, hearing instrument company, and it was really a little too high-tech. This was the early 90s, and it didn't really survive. So um, everybody got laid off, and I finally decided it is time to do something else. So I went and I took a whole bunch of classes at a community college, a Portland Community College, and um, they had very good instructors there. And I just took every art class I could think of. And uh, being practical, um, I decided if I'm going to take art classes, I'm going to have to sell my art. So. Um, First, I just went to some high school craft fairs and I did really well, and I thought, oh, cool. Um, there's an arts and crafts market in Portland that operates every Saturday and Sunday. It's very famous there. It's called Portland Saturday Market, and I applied to be a vendor there. They only take people who create their own art of all sorts of things. And um, I got in, I thought, well, this is the epitome of my career. So I spent like several years selling my artwork uh, there. I do little landscapes, as you might have seen downstairs there. Uh, so I did landscapes all over Oregon. And my husband said one day, I'm going to go to the coast. I'm going to try to sell your artwork at the coast. So I made these little prints, some of which you saw down there, these little square prints, and um, the inspiration for that was um, these little brownie box camera photos that were square and they were exactly that size, and I thought that would be kind of a cool presentation. So um, they're, you know, fairly inexpensive. Um, I make prints of all my work and uh, my husband found a shop to carry them on the coast. And from then, um, he went to other shops. And, and now I am selling my work in 
Oregon and four islands of Hawaii in Sedona, Arizona, um, in Colorado. So um, a lot of the uh, paintings are suited for travelers. They're little landscapes of the specific area they're in. So, and they're very portable. So people buy a lot of them happily. And I've been doing this for 22 years. And um, about five years ago, exactly five years ago, we moved into this place, which is a live-work um, place in St. Louis. I brought my husband back to show him where I grew up um, one summer. And um, I hung out with Bobby Best, and I hung out with Kathy Franklin, and we went all the touristy places. We went out to eat, and I said, St. Louis is way more awesome than I remember. And we found this uh, beautiful neighborhood, Lafayette Square, and we found this place that was a live-work place, which the West Coast is so expensive, uh, you'd never be able to find a place like this, even if it existed. And it doesn't exist. So we were ready to change, to move. So we moved, um, actually we also have a cabin in Colorado. We moved to our cabin in Colorado, then we moved here to St. Louis, exactly five years ago today. And um, so ever since then I've been painting lots of the local landscapes and I'm never running out of things to paint in St. Louis. And I still have all these accounts that we send off our artwork to. I love working for myself. Um, I love not being a, have to get up in the morning and get in the car and scrape off my windshield and drive to work and drive home. I love going downstairs to work and um, I love not having a boss. I like the fact that every decision I make it's on me. I like the responsibility and really I can't imagine quitting. I just want to keep working as long as I can and as long as people buy my stuff. We grew up in a very interesting time. It was an exciting time to go to high school. Um, I didn't even take art in high school. I doodled a lot. I doodled on my pages instead of taking notes. Um, but I didn't take art because I didn't think it was practical. I loved English the most. Um, I loved to read and I liked to write stories actually. Um, and some of you might remember me illustrating um, my Winnie Gerb stories and my Man from Uncle stories. That was in junior high. So um, I wrote stories and my favorite teacher was Lily Pearl Helm for English. So I also play tennis still and I am the fastest woman in Missouri over 60. I am qualified for the National Senior Olympics in the 50, 100, and 200 yard dash, so I'm really fast.